Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be reacting to an animated story time about somebody who got 20 million followers on TikTok and then their family abandoned them. My parents were really wealthy and they liked their luxury. When I was nine months old, dad brought a rare vase from Thailand and proudly placed it on the table. A hundred blind monks painted this. Took them two years. A hundred blind monks painted that? And it took them a couple of years. I'm not gonna lie, that literally looks like something I could paint in about five seconds. In less than two minutes, I'd crawled straight into the table and toppled it over. I started clapping at the cool smashing sound, but something about dad's face made me stop. That is such a typical kid thing. Like, kids literally ruin everything. I had a habit of biting people whenever I was a baby. Don't ask me why. I don't know why I'd done it. I just love the nibble people. When I started walking, I was like freaking Godzilla, destroying everything in my way. My parents packed away all their precious collector's items, covered the furniture with plastic wrap, and switched to paper cups and plates. I mean, I don't blame them considering you're literally ruining everything. Bringing up a child must be so hard because you basically have to like booby trap your house. Is booby trap the right word? I don't think it is. Anti booby trap, that's the word. Anything that could be used to harm a child, like a corner, a material, literally anything has to be taken away so that the child doesn't get injured. But when I was five years old, I caused a disaster of epic proportions. One day, I saw the servant sneaking something into dad's study and I felt really curious. Later that night, I went down to have a look at it. It was just a dumb painting. As I was about to cover it up, I tripped over the cloth and went crashing straight into the painting. What is up with this girl and ruining everything her parents have? Her parents seem wealthy and you will know something, they're gonna be broke soon. That painting probably costs them millions of dollars and she's just completely ruined it. Also, what has this got to do with her getting followers and then getting abandoned by her family? I mean, I'd probably abandon her if she ruins everything. Ripping a me-shaped hole through the canvas. Oh my my God. The next day, Dad had invited hundreds of friends to our mansion for the unveiling of the painting. Oh my God, he's literally gonna unveil it and it's gonna have a big hole in it. I don't know how this man hasn't killed his daughter. If my child done that, I'd literally put them up for adoption. Imagine ruining all my money. It's so expensive to bring up a child and especially a child like that. It's such an honor that the great artist has let me borrow it. Behold the masterpiece. Holy moly. Holy moly indeed. He didn't even buy it. He borrowed it. I'm the worst at painting so I can't really comment on it. But I mean, I'd be furious if my work got ruined. The artist sued dad and he had to pay millions in damages. Luckily, money wasn't an issue. Oh yeah, money's just like not an issue because my parents are millionaires, but they got like sued for millions of dollars. Honestly, if I were that artist, I'd sue them until they were bankrupt. Dad was still so mad. He thought I wasn't normal. So he whisked me off to the doctor who did lots of tests and scans. What is tests and scans gonna do? The only thing they're gonna come back with is probably saying she's got like ADHD or autism. What tests are they gonna do in her? And said there was nothing wrong with me. Maybe she's just evil then. Maybe she's pretending to be clumsy and destroying our lives for fun. You sound crazy. Our baby is not evil. Your baby is a walking disaster. But then one day, I discovered something that changed my life. When I was eight, mom took me to the city for the first time, but we were in a really crowded place and I slipped away from her. Oh my god, is she literally gonna go missing? This child does have bad luck, doesn't she? I'm with the dad. I think she's cursed. As I looked around, I saw a group of homeless children dancing in the street. I immediately fell in love with the way they gracefully moved their body. People were giving them money after their performance, but I only had my lollipop. Don't give them the lollipop, sweetheart. We're in COVID times. You don't want to poison them. I just want to get to the followers and get an abandoned part. I don't care that she's ruining things and she's now fallen in love with Polish people. So I gave it to one of them and she was happy. From then on, I'd watch YouTube videos and teach myself to dance, even though I was so clumsy. Okay, so I think we're getting to the TikTok part because TikTok's mainly to do with dances now. We're nearly three minutes into the animation and we're finally getting to it. Usually, the beat of the music somehow made my body movements really coordinated. One day, I decided to show off my moves to my parents. Mommy, Daddy, look, I'm a dancer. Mom was thrilled, but Dad looked horrified and immediately turned off the music. Good. God, how can I unsee that? Don't you ever do that again. I'm sorry, but this dad seems like an absolute nightmare. He supports nothing his daughter does. I feel so bad for people who don't have supportive parents. Like, that must suck. At least the mom's supportive. What do you mean, daddy? I'm a really good dancer, like Beyonce. Who told you that? Your mirror? Drop this nonsense. You'll be running my company one day, idiot. Who says she can't do both? She can take dancing lessons right now and learn about your company when she's older. Exactly, you're all millionaires. It's not like it's gonna ruin your podcast. 
pocket says hey. I say she can't because I pay the bill. And I don't ever want to hear the word dancing in my house again. I was furious. As I was storming off past him, I accidentally tripped and knocked his phone out of his hand. Do you want to know something if I were you had accidentally tripped and burned the house down with him in it? I hate that. Like, why does that dad think his daughter can't dance? What's wrong with dancing? Dancing is a talent. Dancing is an art. Let your daughter have a bit of fun and hit the wet nay nay. The screen was smashed to bits. I ran off grinning as he roared. But he was right. He did pay the freaking bills. That doesn't mean anything. He can still dance. I mean, my parents pay the bills and I do YouTube. That doesn't mean anything. Girl, do not listen to him. He is a controlling father. So I kept learning secretly, but I never mentioned it again. Everyone thought I'd outgrow my clumsiness, but it just seemed to get worse. And of course, in high school, something like this makes you the perfect target for bullies. Do you want to know something? In school, you're told to tell a teacher about bullying, and I used to say that as well. The one way to end it is to turn around and smack them. I'm telling you right now, if you clock them between the eyes, it'll stall. On my first day in ninth grade, the teacher asked me to collect everyone's notebooks. As I gingerly walked up with the pile, I tripped. When I started picking them up, I didn't see the teacher kneeling down to help me, and I elbowed him really hard in the eye. Oh god, this girl really is a nightmare, isn't she? I never understood why teachers make you carry books like that. Like, why can't they do it? Just leave the books in the desk and the teacher can get it at the end of the class. Word of my clumsy spread like wildfire. People had bets on when I'd fall or drop something next. If I was seen with any hot food or drink, everyone started running away like the devil was after them. To be honest, that's kind of like me. Like, I drop everything that's in my hand. If I were her, I'd probably use that to my advantage. Like, if somebody was annoying me, I'd run after them. Needless to say, I didn't have any friends, except this crazy rich jock. In all of these videos, the main character's always lonely, and they have, like, one friend who they fancy who's, like, a hot guy. And this is the boy. Hudson who'd been acting like my boyfriend since the first time he saw me. One day, I was in the girl's bathroom when he suddenly barged in. Baby cakes, I have a surprise for you. I'm sorry, but if somebody called me baby cakes, I actually think I'd have a stroke. Oh my god, that's so weird. Do people actually call each other that? To be honest, if I was in a relationship, I'd probably let them call me whatever they want. It's just from like an outsider's perspective, it's kind of cringe. He pulled me outside where everyone had already gathered to see his gift. Hundreds of iPhones arranged in a giant heart on the ground. I can't tell if this is a made-up story or if it's fair. I mean, I don't know anyone who get a hundred iPhones with lots of love hearts. It would probably just be better to give her like a bar of chocolate or like a Chanel bag. That's 365 iPhones, babe. One for every day of the year. I'll buy you more when you've smashed all of these. But why exactly does she need the phones? Like she's not really gonna break them. I mean, she could probably give one to her dad. I bet you he'd appreciate that. She's already really rich, so why does she need any more Well, Another time, he gave me a horse. Hudson, what am I gonna do with it? We're in a city. But that's the one thing you don't have and you deserve everything. Where can I find a man like Hudson? Because I'm telling you I'm looking for one. I literally have the worst luck whenever it comes to my love life. I have zero luck whatsoever. Aaron, the most popular cheerleader, made a bet out of it as always. Gather around guys. New bet starting now. Thousand bucks if she falls off in the first minute. I was just getting onto the horse when it suddenly flicked its tail and knocked me over. To my horror, I landed in its poop. Aaron was howling in triumph as cash ran on her. Are people actually giving her the money? Girl, I want to know what skill this is because if you're betting her falling over and getting thousands, I want to be involved. Keep up the good work, you stupid klutz. Make me richer. When I tried to get up, everyone suddenly disappeared, including Hudson. That jerk. But then, Erin did something that made me even crazier. She started a freaking dance club at school. While I was reading the dance club poster, I heard Erin behind me. Why don't you join in the dance club? Your dad isn't letting you dance in the house, so you might as well dance there. I've said this about three or four times in this video, but when is the actual story about her getting famous in TikTok gonna start? Seriously? Don't even think about it. I only accept the best, and you can't even walk straight, dummy. Don't worry, I'm not interested at all. Of course, that was a lie. It was my dream to dance with other people, like those kids on the street I'd seen years ago. Join them, you've got the money, get a dance teacher. This girl's got so much money, she can literally get the best of the best, and she's not doing it. One afternoon, while I was walking in our garden, I tripped over a sunflower, and suddenly, a splash of water hit my face. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, I didn't see you. I'm Samuel, the new driver. I looked up to see a gorgeous boy washing our cars with a garden hose. So another hot boy's fallen in love with her. What type of perfect 
perfume that says girl wearing because I need it. And he was shirtless. As he helped me up, I couldn't help wondering how hard his abs were. I stumbled on purpose and my palms accidentally landed on his abs. I feel like if I were a girl, I'd be like that. Like I'm telling you right now, if a boy was sat down, I'd accidentally fall into his lap. I'd be like, oopsies, I'm falling. Ma'am, are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? Without another word, I ran off to my room. A few hours later, I was dancing away when I caught Samuel watching me through the window. Okay, so he's now stalking you. That's a red flag, my love. Like, you need to get rid of him. You might think it's good falling into his abs, but now he's literally stalking you through your window. How long have you been standing there? You dropped your necklace. I, I just came to return it. But you were so great, I was mesmerized. I swear his compliment had my stomach break dancing. Your stomach won't be break dancing whenever he's cut you into 50 pieces and put you in a car. This is literally how all serial killer stories like start out. You get stalked and then you get hacked to pieces. I started hanging out with him after that day and it felt good to have a friend who knew my little secret. But the universe kept teasing me. Aaron started dancing on TikTok and got 1 million followers in a week. Okay, so he's TikTok famous. We finally got to the TikTok part. I just want to know how she gets abandoned. Samuel kept encouraging me to make my own account. I bet you're gonna have a million followers in just one day. My dad won't like it. He doesn't get me. But from then on, I started filming myself whenever I danced in my room. Maybe someday dad would come around. One evening, dad took me to a company dinner and officially introduced me as the future CEO. Everyone raised a toast to it, but it just didn't feel right. Wait, so does she actually want to be the CEO? Because I'm pretty sure she doesn't. Why is a poor girl being forced into things? Like she obviously wants to be a TikToker. Girl, turn into an influencer. As I made my way to the front for a speech, my dress got caught on something and ripped, exposing my underwear. Oh my god, that's so awkward in front of her dad as well. What is up with this girl's look? Like, I'm telling you right now, she literally is the worst look ever. She's constantly breaking stuff. Her dad doesn't love her. Her dad's forcing her to do things. What is wrong with her? Everyone in the room started laughing quietly, and I could see dad's furious face. I ran out as fast as I could to the car. I mean, I don't blame you. I'd be so embarrassed. Imagine you're up in a stage in front of everyone and your panties show. She also ripped her dress and it probably cost thousands. Samuel looked at my tear-stained face with concern. Are you okay, ma'am? I'm sure lots of people think I have the perfect life as a rich heiress, but I want things that money can't buy. I want to do what I love. I want to make my parents proud, and I just want to be normal. To make me feel better, Samuel took me to a dance club. I closed my eyes and just started dancing. She better not tell her dad about that because her dad's going to be furious. Furious. She's banned from dancing in the house and now she's went to a dance club. Minutes later, I'd forgotten everything because I was in my happy place. When I opened my eyes, I saw Samuel looking at me and my heartbeat raced. Ma'am, you're a goddess. I could watch you all day. Suddenly, I pulled him in close. It's not ma'am, it's Cleo. Just then, I got a call from my dad yelling at me to come home immediately. That's one way to kill the mood, isn't it? I just want to know why her dad doesn't let her dance. Is she not allowed to dance in clubs or is she allowed to do like break dancing or like ballerina stuff? Your behavior is unacceptable, but I'll forgive you on one condition. Date the son of my biggest investor, at least for six months. I thought about Samuel, but I knew dad wasn't really giving me a choice. Wait, so you're literally going to force your daughter to get into an arranged relationship. Hello, is this not illegal? This dad is a psycho. So I agreed. The next day when he introduced me to his investor's son, my jaw dropped open. Hudson? Baby cakes. Did you know about this? Duh, I've always known who you are. You're not just hot. Your parents are as rich as mine. That very night, I was invited to dinner by his parents. So it's literally the guy who she kind of had a crush on. I mean, he likes her. I don't know if she likes him. To be honest, I wouldn't mind marrying a rich person. You get anything you want and you could divorce them and take all their money. And dad had a list of instructions for me. Don't disappoint them or else I'm going to lose billions. Think before you even breathe. Wait, so basically if she messes up, he could lose billions. What type of people are they hanging out with? Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. Unfortunately, thinking wasn't gonna help. Hudson had the scariest parents in the world. They were watching my every move. I'm not gonna lie, whenever you meet somebody's parents, it is quite scary. They've either got parents that look like puppies and you can tell that they're really sweet, or they've got parents who are absolutely terrifying and you think that they hate them. I would say the majority of the time I get along with the parents' mums really well, but the dads are scary. Like, I'm telling you right now, I'm terrified of the dads. I got clumsier 
here by the second. I kept dropping my fork, and when I tried to pass his mom the water, the jug slipped from my hand. She's not really making a good impression, is she? Cleo, sweetheart, you're gonna lose your dad billions. But then, the unthinkable happened. I dropped some soup on my dress and excused myself for the bathroom. As soon as I got up, I hit my pinky toe on the edge of the table. What is wrong with this girl? Like, why is she getting injured so much? I'm telling you right now, she's literally cursed. Like, this woman is cursed. What has she done? Like, is she literally, like, some of the voodoo doll person? She's got the worst look ever. Holy piece of stupid sh- they looked at me like I'd just killed their whole neighborhood. I was sure Hudson wouldn't want anything to do with me after that dinner, but Dad would be raging mad when he found out. But I actually didn't care. Do you want to know, babe, I wouldn't care either because your parents are literally billionaires. I mean, I can understand why the dad maybe wants to abandon you now considering you are literally ruining everything he's working for. The next day at school, I was really surprised when Hudson walked over to me and put his arm around my waist. Baby cakes, I don't care if my parents think you're a stupid klutz. You're too beautiful for anyone else. I have a grand gift to make you feel better. Do you want to know, you guys, this video is actually so confusing. I don't actually understand what we're watching. I'm trying to understand it and nothing's going into my brain. He pushed a bunch of car keys into my hand. 20 sports cars for you, babe. 20 freaking cars? But I didn't even know how to drive. He gave the stupidest gifts ever. Just then, he kissed me and I pushed him away. I'm sorry, Hudson, but I can't force myself to like you. Oh my god, that's really gonna hurt his ego and cost her dad lots of money. I don't know what's going on in this video. Like, this is actually such a mess. Of course, Hudson's parents backed out from the deal and dad went psycho. I told him what a jerk Hudson was, but he didn't care. So, your mom married me, didn't she? It's actually because of that poor driver, isn't it? Well, I sent him back to his country and I told him to stay away from if he knows what's good for him. Wait, so the dad literally deported that random boy? Hello, how can you deport somebody? You're not like President whatever the President of America is called, President Biden. This man is evil. I was shocked and then I was furious. That's it. Keep your stupid house and your stupid company to your stupid self. I'm not giving up on anything for you now. How dare you talk to me like that? She's right. I'm not watching you bully her anymore either. It's about time the mom stood up like Jesus, her husband seems a mess. Yet again, I don't know how this has got any correlation to the actual story. Dad immediately kicked us both out of his mansion and cut off all our allowances. But mom wasn't sorry at all and said she'd rather be poor than with him. We moved to my late grandparents' house. Luckily, I still had the horse and iPhones Hudson gave me. Oh my god, I don't understand what's going on. Like, why is she getting kicked out? Is the woman not married to the man? Surely she should divorce him and take his money. And I sold them all off to give us a head start. And I made my own account and uploaded my saved videos. To my surprise, I got two million followers over the weekend. Aaron was smoking red. Okay, so we are 11 minutes 48 seconds into the anime and they finally told us about the TikTok page. I don't know if I can go on much longer with this video because I'm getting a headache. Next day at school, she came to me and said, How is this possible? I can twerk and throw it back better than you. I guess my followers just disagree with you, Aaron. Fine, let's dance to the same song. And whoever has more likes in one hour wins. Loser pays $50,000 and drops out of school. If I were her, I'd turn around and i say, No, sweetheart, you ain't getting any of my money. $50,000? dollars That's more than what the majority of people make in a year. Challenge accepted. We did the dance and I won by a hundred thousand likes. Erin's account was suddenly deleted and I never saw her again. Mom encouraged me to do more videos and I reached 20 million followers in just four months. 20 million followers in four months? Jesus, call you Charlie D'Amelio. My friend Kyle's got 20 something million. I think he's close to 30 million. She's gonna be overtaking him soon. She also started joining me and I was mind blown by her moves. So that's where I got my talent. Two years later, we started a dance studio where I taught little kids how to dance and to chase their dreams. Okay, so she's turned into a dance studio teacher. Let's hope she doesn't turn into Abby Lee Miller because by the sound of it, she's got a lot of anger built up inside of her because of them boys and her dad. And this seemed just right, but there was something missing from my life. A man. Until one day, 
a handsome guy entered my studio, and when he took off his shades, I swear I almost fainted. Big shocker, it's her crush. You didn't see that coming, did you? Okay, I winded the video for and basically they got married and had a baby, the end of the story. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. That was the woman who got 20 million followers on TikTok and got kicked out of her house by her dad. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, press the big red subscribe button. I post a new video every single day and twice a day at the weekend. Thanks so much for watching this point if you have already, and just I'll see you all in my next video.